If I said I always adhere to rule number one, I'd be lying. It's not that I don't see its value. My failure to use it is more likely the result of my haste. In this case, I've done just that, but there's something I can still do to ensure the sketch and feature become associated to the component. I'll move the new component in the timeline to before these items, which I've since realized isn't even required. Then in the browser, click and drag the sketch to the new component. This will not only move the sketch, but it will also include the related extrude feature, as made evident when activating the component. But that's an overly simplistic design, so how does this workflow fare in something a little more complex? Like this incredible micro switch Simon added to the gallery. It's missing the lever, so I'll quickly add a sketch and extrude, again forgetting to create a new component beforehand. Just like last time, I'll add a new component, make the unnecessary move forward in the timeline, and again try to move the sketch. But this time Fusion throws an error at me. The warning here is telling me that because there are position features, Fusion is unable to move the entities. The position feature it refers to here are joints, so I have two options I can resort to in order to complete this successfully. I can either move the joints later in the timeline or suppress them. Because moving joints can cause much larger issues, I'll suppress this. Attempt the move, and this time it takes. I'll quickly activate to verify. And now I can go back and unsuppress the joint without affecting what we've created. I hope this helps you out of a bind at some point. There are definitely cases where this won't work, but it's worth a shot. Cheers.